we're checking out the brand new Vatic Pro Alchemy. This paddle has a ton of hype around it right now. Is this Vatic's best paddle they've ever released, or will it fall short of the hype? I put the Alchemy through an extensive set of testing with accurate RPM results, power rankings, and so much more. So without further ado, let's dink straight into it. The Vatic Alchemy is Vatic Pro's newest thermoformed offering, coming in at a price point of $179. You can use code STS Pickleball to save $10, bringing the price to just $169, which is a bit more expensive than some of the competition, but much cheaper than most of the Selkirk and Yola offerings, which are really popular right now. According to Vatic, the Alchemy pushes the boundaries of pickleball technology. They've implemented the highest quality Torre T700 raw carbon fiber and engineered it to help you perform at the highest possible level on the pickleball court. The unique enhanced airflow channel above the throat creates faster swing speed and promotes more feel during play, allowing for greater control on the court. For me, it feels like a really durable paddle, but it does feel like the sweet spot is really small in comparison to the competition. I think this has to do with the hole at the bottom or the airflow channel as they're calling it. The paddle's curved tip makes it easy to handle and maneuver while its elongated grip at 5.5 inches and grip circumference of 4.25 inches ensures room for two-handed backhands. The 16 millimeter option uh, comes in at 8.6 ounces and the 13 millimeter option comes in at 8.4 ounces. I think it's pretty unique Vatic is offering a 13.5 millimeter version, although I tend to be a 16 millimeter player in general. I do really love the look of this paddle, but let's put the aesthetics aside and jump into some tangible numbers. After a ton of spin testing, taking the average results over a multiple week period, the Vatic Alchemy came in at 1743 RPM of spin, ranking it as one of the worst spinning paddles I've ever tested. When you compare this to the Valer Forza, which is the highest spinning paddle I've ever tested at 2168 RPM, and coming in at a price point after discount of 162 bucks, it starts to paint a bit of a different story. Or if you compare it to the Baller Pro at 2002 RPM, and coming in at a price point after a discount of $89, you can really see that Alchemy definitely doesn't stack up to the current available competition for spin ranking. Power testing for me comes down to the feel of drives, serves, hand battles, and pop off the face. I've tested almost every paddle available in the industry so far, and I feel I'm getting a great feel for how to rank these paddles and just how to test them. After all of my testing, I compiled a score of 8.6 for power and 8 for pop for the Vatic Alchemy, which are pretty standard numbers for thermoformed paddles these days. I did have some solid drives and serves with the Alchemy and the added weight definitely helped create some extra lag which was nice, but the hard, jarring, rigid feel of the face was a bit off-putting and didn't feel that great. To compare that to some of the top paddles in the power category that I've tested, we have the Valer Forza Mach 1 at 9.5 out of 10 for power and 8 out of 10 for pop, and the Carbon 3X at 9.4 out of 10 for power and 7.8 out of 10 for pop. These two paddles feel not only more powerful, but have way more spin and feel off the face. The sweet spot for the Alchemy feels tight, hard, and a bit jarring as I said before. Off-center drives, serves, and dinks all felt like they were pretty punishing. The added weight does seem to counteract this a touch as it adds a bit more force behind each shot, mitigating errors just a touch it feels like, but that's about the only positive I can give it here. So for sweet spot ranking, I gave the Alchemy a 7.2 out of 10. To compare that to my best sweet spot rankings, we have the Double Black Diamond coming in at 9.1 out of 10, and the Valer Forza Mach 1 coming in at 9 out of 10 for sweet spot ranking. Again, no comparison here. The Forza and the Double Black Diamond blow the Alchemy out of the water. All right, let's jump into the feel and soft game ranking. The added weight puts this paddle at about my ideal weight when I add lead tape to my other paddles, which is nice out of the box, but that's about the only positive I can really come up with here. Dinks feel just okay, the spin is mediocre, even in the soft game. I honestly just expected more and I was really excited to give this paddle a test. So I'm just going to keep this short and to the point. I gave the Alchemy a 7.4 out of 10, which ties it with the Yola Perseus in my rankings. To compare that to the top paddles I've ranked in the feel and soft game category, we have the 6-0 Double Black Diamond and the Rhombus R3 Pulsar both coming in at a solid 8.6 out of 10, tied for the top spot currently for feel and soft game rankings. If you want to see a review for the top 5 highest spinning paddles in 2023, click here. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.